as our Lauren Cottrell breaks down the Red Raiders wide receivers. The Texas Tech wide receiver room is most commonly known for its long streak of greats. Jakeem Grant, Kiki Kuti, and so many more began their successful careers with the Red Raiders. And this year, the wideout unit is taking bits and pieces from those greats, adding more strengths to the already versatile group. When we have time as a position group, we study the past. We'll study Grant, we'll study Bassin, we'll study QT, where some others will study also too. And just try to add that flavor to what we're doing in our game. Welka and Madola, we'll study all those guys. So they're doing a good job of absorbing that, uh, absorbing my style of coaching, and really understanding what we're doing as an offense, which take, takes away all the thinking those guys are doing in the spring. At the head of the receiver room this year is Miles Price. Price started in nine games in the 2021 season as only a sophomore, catching 38 passes for 523 yards, ranking him third overall behind Eric Izukama and Kalen Geiger. But with both of those guys gone this year, Price steps up in their place to lead the group, as he's expected to have a breakout year in offensive coordinator Zach Kitley's pass-heavy offense. On top of that, redshirt freshman Duran Bradley proved himself in Tech's bowl appearance in 2021, becoming a potential threat on this 2022 offense. Bradley made his debut start with the Red Raiders in the Liberty Bowl against Mississippi State, filling in for an absent Izukama and had his best outing of the season, finishing with two catches for 64 yards. As for this year, the wide receiver unit seems promising, and the guys have position coach Emmett Jones to thank for that. Coach Jones has done a, a great job with us. Um, it definitely became more fundamentally sound, and even though I want to see us be more aggressive, um, we have became more aggressive and more dominant as a group. 